Welcome to jobskillshare.org. This video is actually a detailed version of this article. Now we are making this video because we get a lot of questions through our mailbox or chat box where people will ask us how do I start IT career with no experience or can you help me get started on the site. So we decided to write this article in very detail. This will cover two questions. One, it will give you confidence that you should be able to start your IT career courses on this site with no issues at all. Second, it is going to give you a pathway of getting started for the first time. So at least you get started on these courses and you get used to it and start practicing it and that's the first step to become an IT person anyways, right? So let's get started. First of all, I would like to welcome everybody to jobskillshare.org and here we decided to write why we are covering this video. Now before I tell anyone that this site is working great for some people and it is actually great because some people actually landed jobs directly by taking courses from this site. Now that is great but when I tell people that things are going to work for you and that is not enough for people. We have to show statistics, we have to show facts that when you try to get into this career of IT support positions we tell people that you really do not need any formal type of certifications or any formal type of job training or any formal type of degree we call it associates degree bachelors masters we really don't need that to land a first IT job however it is really depending on the country cities where you live the company and the people who are hiring you it is all up to them now I have explained this in one of my vlogs where I tell people that there could be two companies one company have an IT person he's very knowledgeable he's pretty much down-to-earth person and say bring him bring this new person on I want to tra train somebody new this company will hire you with no issues only you have to show dedication dedication to learn dedication to work with other people, dedication to be open to technology, learning new things. This company will hire you without any education, not even jobskillshare.org courses. Of course, then you need something to uh, learn more, but that's what we are covering right here. I will explain that details in a little bit later on. Another company is having no, uh, they don't want to deal with anything new they don't want you to they don't want to train you they want somebody experienced so then they have a server the server is critical you have a job requirement and they want that requirement or maybe they don't want you to be in this secure area without having certain criteria like you know high top clearance uh, clearances and all that kind of stuff so this is all luck I tell many people that some people have landed jobs without even knowing about jobskillshare.org without knowing about the certifications because somebody knew them and they gave them a job now they are an IT person but one thing is for sure if you are coming from a certification route or some type of formal IT education you are not going to be as stressed as a person who is going through nothing basically with no experience no certifications no education and of course if this person landed a job somehow by knowing people or maybe luckily landed a job the second thing will be that the next day of actually working at the real world environment this is where things are going to get really really stressful now it's a li little less stressful for a person who has been through the certification route versus the person who have nothing and this is where jobskillshare.org came in and that's where we decided to let's start some courses to help both of these scenarios where a person is going through certification some formal education but missing a lot of real-world stuff you know when you land a job there's things that is just not covered in certification so this is where we added these courses and things like that now versus a person who have nothing at all we also created courses in a way that you start things but also help you to go towards certification some educations that can help you land a job so to explain this a little bit more we will show you a real-world example 
Now, if you go to Indeed.com and just type help desk entry level and search, I'm from Maryland DMV area, so that's why I put it right here. You can use your own city. And the first thing you will notice when you search something like that, like help desk entry level, you can see that the pe people that are hiring you are already putting these type of titles, like junior, junior, level one, junior technician, support one. Now, here's the things behind these titles when they put this title they are actually telling you that we are okay with your experience level but we do want you to have two years of experience or one year of experience or something now something meaning this this could be you going to an interview right now and say look I have taken these courses when you start talking about these skills like Active Directory, Hub to Sticketing System and some other skills that which probably would make no sense to you right now but you will know that when you talk about this this person already know that oh okay you know about these skills I like that because this is exactly what we do at work so now you're communicating you're talking to someone technical in their technical uh, communication right now if that's they're not technical of course you're not gonna go into something technical like you know with the HR manager which probably they ask you some few questions and that's it you just told them basic stuff that you learned in these courses and now see that's how things change for people and that's what happened to people over here in these courses when they take these courses they're taking something with them and they are ex explaining things to the interview or hiring managers that I have the skills and since this is an entry-level job I think I'm ready for this because this is what I learned this is the things that I, I you're looking for so that's where we are focusing on now in this two examples I basically shared two companies they're putting two qualification one is saying that you should get certification a plus network plus certification highly preferred or a high school uh, related experience so that's qualification that's highly preferred now the second one as you probably don't see this too many if you click on it you can see the big picture but this company is basically looking for desired highly preferred desired now some people are like for example here must be a US citizen so when they say must of course if not if you're not a US citizen you're not going to be applying to this job but if they don't have anything like that then what is actually stopping people is their confidence at this point if you think that you don't have experience forget about that you should really try to go to these interviews you will learn more about interviews and you should start talking to them that you have taken these courses and you're ready to go now how can we help you get started first of all we need to cover all of these skills or descriptions or duties that we have they're putting right here for someone brand new to IT career this is a big thing right here how would you know you know you you want to start something someone a site or some other training site or a school this is what you're going for you're going to take these A plus certifications and other things just to cover these duties and experiences so that's what we uh, we have done in this jobskillshare.org environment that we basically help you with that when you know that it doesn't matter what job you open up even if you're missing two or three things you know the basics you know the core things like Active Directory ticketing system how to assign a call how to talk to people how to troubleshoot advanced issues on computers how to connect to computers how to do sharing how to do all this stuff that we have explained right here with step by step now you can actually check this article and just know more about these steps but they're just basic troubleshooting things and they cover the normal description between these two jobs like for example descriptions right here and if you go up a little bit the description on this job also so it is kind of kind of like probably I would say the things that we cover for help desk and IT support probably 70 to 80 percent and that's what people look for they don't want you to be a hundred percent you know nobody wants you to know the hundred percent help desk stuff because it depends on the company and if they have something different they will tell you they will teach you they will give documentation all they want you from you to know some basics and are you willing to learn now see 
this is what we are basically covered in this article that we have done a lot of detailed work now this is where my introduction comes in where I'm coming from I'm coming from Pakistan and then came in here how I started my IT career how I start teaching how I learned everything when I was going through all of the stuff that I I know you're going through and you're having all these questions I had the same questions the only thing that I did is just I compiled I compiled it and I just put it in videos in a course format and now in a platform so where people are taking benefit and it is helping us and also the members at the same time when everybody is helping each other together so this is where we're providing more resources and stuff like that now this is where testimonial comes in of course you can go to the site on the front page you will see so many people that have landed jobs go to the interviews go to the YouTube channel look at the comments so many people have landed jobs and did awesome in interviews and they came back and gave back to the community by sharing their interview questions we have the link for that too so once you start the course you get the link also where you see the questions and answers that people are basically going through and have passed the interviews and now landed some good jobs now quickly we're going to start the registration process so at this point all the your your mind should be clear right now what what are you getting in right now now if I tell people that you know you're taking the courses that is just going to cover the skills not the certification at this point we are not covering certifications we're not covering network plus but we partner with another company that gives you labs they're focused on certification to me that was the biggest thing in this lab in this whole platform that I was looking for something like this because I was teaching courses I was teaching videos and things I wanted something hands-on I wanted some someone something that can give people more from this platform and that's what I did when I partner with them that's where things really changed and really really effective now that now you're actually focusing on the real world skills that is going to help you with the job that is going to help you with the day-to-day -day job then that also will help you with the interviews and even advancing your career but at the same time you can even advance career more by taking certifications or if you're a brand new person by taking courses uh, like lab certification courses where you basically just take labs and for that you just need membership plus with labs it is recommended because you're going to learn so much in these two years or one year or six months that you're going to be jumping around from different technologies like VMware, virtualization, Microsoft, Cisco, routers, switches, so many things where you need something like a learning path. And this is where we came up with learning path. This course is designed for people that are they are coming from no computer knowledge to wanting to become a computer IT professional and then moving forward. Now we have not covered every single path over here. We just covered basic to IT professional, which covers base, desktop support, help desk, and now transitioning into system admin positions. Slowly, slowly we'll cover that too. But at this point, if you're brand new to the site, this is where you will be starting. The first thing you need to do is to go to the membership levels. You will go to the page right here on the top. You'll click on it and you will pick the membership. So you can start with free membership, if you like to pay for the membership plus which give you more benefits membership plus with labs will give you all the benefit that I'm talking about here and give you like certification labs at the same time and also if you're interested in let's say learning quickly we're talking about 10 days or we're talking about depending on how, the way you want the schedule because we're pretty fl flexible then you may want to use this option now before I jump into the IT support specialist training let's go ahead and talk about a little bit the summary of this page you came in with asking that you ha don't have any experience you wanted to know about the facts we share the facts with you we tell you how things are in reality right now and how to go for a job in a real world what kind of titles you're looking for we talk about that then we tell you that what is being covered and what our companies are looking for duties and experiences and their qualification examples we share that with you and then we tell you that what jobskillshare.org is covered specifically they're covering these courses they're talking about skills they talk about uh, videos they talk about real world training they show you examples and things like that and then after that we tell you that if you're interested in A plus in CompTIA, Cisco, Microsoft, VMware and 
other certifications we have labs for that we do not 100% provide certification readiness you probably will need another ebook or certification exam we don't provide exams right now and then we talk about like you know what is being covered in these courses 80 60 to 70 percent of the skills then some introductions some testimonials and things like that that it, it is covered all over the site YouTube channel and everything now what we tell people that now you're ready to start you're clear about this whole platform then go to the membership plus per membership page make sure you get the membership plus with labs to get all the benefits if you're not interested in that you can start for free and the learning path right here this course you can start right directly from here once you register you can actually get to your dashboard and you can cl click the learning path from there or you can click it from here also and this will give you step-by-step -step information on what courses to take and then we talk about okay now you need let's say you're in a situation where you need uh, to learn these things quickly you are that person you want a one-on-one -on -one training then we provide this uh, VISST training so basically this is kind of like you can take it on site in Maryland DC Virginia uh, the offices in Maryland so if you are near you can take it from here uh, on site or if you want to take it online we cover that too if you are interested in recorded videos we are also covering that if you are interested in this training this is a little intense training so be prepared uh, this is all about your mind if you're prepared to take the IT courses for 10 days with an IT professional two hours um, a lot of information a lot of trainings given to you a lot of learning path a lot of help so it is going to be very very um, talkative course hands-on course where you do things we do things you sh you see our uh, examples you do your examples you go to the communities and all that kind of stuff that you have to do in this course so if you're interested in this and wanted to know more about it make sure you click on membership plus levels if you are that self-paced person you want to do everything yourself then I strongly recommend to go for membership with labs because it is going to give you pretty much benefits in future and now thank you for watching this I hope this cleared a lot of things if you're still not sure don't be shy make sure you click on this button right here and send a message of where you are confused and I will try to help you out thank you